number 10 forest. This is uh, this is cast arms. I think it's the longest serving knife to be honest with you. And it is a lovely thing. It's really ergonomic. Um, it's got a slight kink in the handle there, the bottom end. It just sits lovely. Go in, in your hand. I think the blade's nine and a half centimetres long. About four inches, something like that. And it's a lovely balanced thing. Really, really nicely balanced knife. It's got a really thick blade on it. And I went for the high carbon tool steel version. Um, they do it in stainless, but uh, I prefer the tool steel one. I think it's harder. And I also think it keeps the edges better in general just got really really good there's like a finger groove that just falls into the hand look at the way that contoured it's like slightly faster at the top slopes in there and then kicks out again on the bottom it's got two inserts either side of the scales I went for the curly birch scales brass bolsters full tang really really nice knife just balances so well um, they do it in a full grind uh, but I went for the Scandi grind because I wanted a knife that's more of a general purpose um, woodsman's knife as well. I've got a dedicated gutting knife but I just wanted something that's a bit more, you know, nicely balanced. But I have no doubt it will make a good gutting knife too. This is the sheath, really good quality, dead heavy, thick leather, nicely finished drainage hole in the bottom for any um, guts or muck that you get on the blade or any water so run out it's really nice <coughs> I bought the little dangler for it because again it's got a carabinera attachment to put the sheath on <coughs> because sometimes if you're wearing one of these on your belt they don't sit very low that's the most knives. When you're sitting down or bending down ferreting or you're just driving your car or sat in a seat or whatever, they can dig in you. But with a dangler, it just hangs them a little bit below. So you've got that little bit of clearance which just makes things a lot more comfortable. Right, I'm just going to cut this rabbit off shot and see how this knife performs. Made really short work of that. <coughs> um, yeah, no complaints with that. Uh, so all in all, superb hunting knife. Just the ticket, really. Um, the only thing with these high carbon steel blades is obviously they do take a bit more care and looking after than a stainless. You have to clean them after every one. Um, lightly wax them with olive oil or or a wax. Um, and uh, stops them going rusty otherwise they will rust and they will tarnish which isn't ideal but all in all it's a great knife watch my other videos uh, thank you very much